Hi Aquarius, welcome to your special Halloween edition of He Said, She Said. Thanks for joining us. My name's Michelle. My name's Richard. Let's get started. Two cards came out for you, Aquarius. Now this could be you, could be someone around you that's important of significance, or if you're cross-watching, it could be an Aquarian that you're dealing with. Now this person seems to be going through a very dark time at the moment. They're in the underworld, so to speak. Meaning they're in that place in between, that space in between, a time of change and transition. There's a feeling here also of they may be falling prey to something that's unhealthy or temptation, something like that. Now, the good energy that I have around this is the skull of flowers, and you'll notice that there's this is a skull which is uh, desolate, it's barren, there's no life here, and suddenly there's this blooming flowers kind of energy. It's kind of like celebrating life after death, uh, the death of something. It's the death of the old for this new beginning. It's like that phoenix, something being created from the ashes, from something that needed to die. And there's a feeling here of gaining strength, gaining perspective, and gaining a healthy life and a healthy attitude after a period of struggle or adversity. Now, Richard has pulled a card from the Mausolea Oracle. It's a card of Hathor, and the words associated with Hathor are mediation, communication, and culture. If you cannot serve as mediator yourself, perhaps it is wise to seek one out. Okay, so again, could be you, could be someone else, or it, uh, if you're cross-watching, could be an Aquarian you're dealing with. At the bottom of the deck, I do have this Five of Swords in Reverse energy. And I've got the Two of Wands in the Reverse. So let's take a look. We'll see where this goes, Aquarius. We'll start with the status of this relationship. How you're viewing this person, the strengths, the challenges advice what to do what not to do what's hidden or unexpected and the potential outcome okay status of the relationship how this person views you aquarius strengths weaknesses what this person should keep doing what they should stop doing what's hidden and the outcome if nothing changes okay the hangman well that's at pause where all things pause before they can begin again so this person is needing to suffer. The hangman is always, it's an uncomfortable position. It's a place of feeling like you need to suffer true discomfort in order to grow and to transform. Okay, looking over here, status of the relationship. We've got the seven of cups. So it's about exercising one's options or having lots of options or seeming to have a lot of options. Could also be a uh, mistaken belief as well as there's, there's well, a lot of delusion, confu delusion sure. uh, yeah. fantasy confusion mm -hmm. sure it's not right, we'll, seeing we'll, things we'll see we'll see where that goes yeah because this speaks to me with the underworld of the pomegranate of temptation yeah and the seven of cups speaks of temptation being tempted by many, many different things options, yeah you know let's mm -hmm. have a look and see what the how you're viewing this person aquarius as the magician so you see them as capable you see them as capable of um, dealing with this, this issue yeah, so even though they may be doubting themselves i do think that you have confidence that they can pull this off okay over here status relationship we have the eight of swords yeah, it's that uh, being trapped in a trapped in a realm of one's own making um, being concerned about their worries and anxieties and everything else but knowing well not knowing there is a way out but because you know, you're yeah. blindfolded. But, Feeling that there isn't a way out. But there is a way out because yeah. you can see that throughout these swords here, this person could just let go of their own mm. uh, bindings here and then just walk away. They may even feel, well, you know, I do get kind of an element here of attack. I'm getting that word attack. So let's see where that goes. The Eight of Cups as the strength. Well, this is a, a quest. It's a card of journey. It feels like traveling in the underworld. A spirit guide is saying this is this is this person traveling in the underworld. They're this hunched over figure climbing the steps to uh, transcendence. The skull of flowers. It's that in between state. It's that journey in the underworld that they need to to go down into the depths of. You know, in the Rider Waite deck, 
there's an eclipse. Yeah, there's yes. the oh, there's one mm -hmm. here too. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's an eclipse. Yeah, and that's always the, the portent or an omen for a big event, right? And in the background here, it's interesting, there's three ships on the horizon. Three, right? Mm. So three may mean something to you. There's also people up here on the cliff kind of waiting for this person. It could be family, it could be friends, people waiting for this person to go through this experience. Mm. Over here we have the Emperor in reverse as the strength. Yeah, you know, I see this as being the person who needs to go through the change on this side here. Mm. But you know, but the Emperor being in reverse as a strength means that you know they're facing that adversity mm. or they're in the midst of that adverse adversity. They may not be reacting to it appropriately right now, which is why they're in the reverse. Yeah. But and, they, and they may not have it experienced a time in their life where they've actually felt that they were that emperor, mm. where they felt like they had that true power, right? Mm. But obviously they do with that magician card here. So this person does have more power than they, they choose to believe that they have. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like someone who doesn't know their own strength. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. The challenge is the six of pentacles in reverse. Well, the challenge is not rushing in here to, to help this individual Aquarius. I feel like you, you, you might have an instinct to do that. You might say, oh, this person needs my help. I could see them going down the wrong road. I want to help them. But the challenge is here for you to resist that, mm. to resist assisting this person. Uh, there's a feeling here of hold, withholding something. It feels like support, something that you've previously given to this person and assist in some way. Okay, looking over here at the weakness, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's interesting. The Emperor in reverse is a strength, the King of Pentacles in reverse as a weakness. Uh, I see this as uh, loss of stability, loss of finances, possibly. Yeah, again with the Six of Pentacles mm -hmm. in reverse. There could be some kind of monetary issues here. Advice, what to do? Aquarius. We've got the uh, the Nine of Wands. Well, this is that you don't know your own strength until you experience it. It feels like someone who needs to get a bit beaten up by life. Mm. Knocked down a few times in order for them to recognise that they do have the courage and the perseverance to pick themselves back up and, 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 and survive. It's, it's very much learning survival techniques. Yeah, getting through adversity, uh, how, to, how to get through true adversity. Yeah, and come out feeling bad, but, but still it's standing. Still standing, yeah. You know, not giving up the fight, right? That's right. Looking over here, what this person should keep doing, the Hierophant. Well, it's about gaining knowledge. Mm. About self-knowledge is what I get here. Mm. But you know, the Hierophant is a bit unlike the High Priestess, in that the Hierophant can find out any knowledge that's out there. It's all available. All that knowledge out there the hero can, hero can find is there, is there for the taking, is there to be found out. Mm. The High Priestess, on the other hand, is about stuff that can't be known mm. or is unknowable. And in, it's interesting because the Hierophant, in this instance, I'm getting strong energy. Of course, it could be a Taurus as well with the, with the King of Pentacles mm. there. But the way that I'm getting that from Spirit is that this is going to allow this person to know themselves, know what who they are, know what their values are. It's kind of like someone who's learning, learning about themselves and learning that there's strength in that. Not, not, it feels like someone who maybe has been led to believe that being this way or having their beliefs or, or what they believe to be true is wrong. But yet somehow there's an element around this of finding information that was already available to them but yet had somehow been caught in this kind of delusion or um, confusion. You know, someone who, who is confused about who they are. Yeah, okay, interesting. Let's have a look and see what you had. Advice on what not to do. We've got the two of wands in the reverse. Okay. Well, with this one, it's about... I get restriction restricting restricting the progress you know it's fear of failure right fear of failure so the thing is you, you have to go off and do something uh, conquer the fears 
because this feels like someone who gets stuck in the starting gate and doesn't do the work because they fear the failure. Hmm. This is someone who needs to get out there and, and go for it, get knocked about a bit by life, but, it, but they're being urged to do that regardless of what may happen. Well, you know, they say about courage, right? Courage isn't the absence of fear. It's feeling that fear and then and going... Going anyway. Going and doing it anyway, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. What this person shouldn't do, two of cups. I, I get that as being trying to form relationships that are a crutch. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I bet stop them from this feeling of being beaten up, right? Yeah, it's seeking that solace or seeking, you know, this person has to experience discomfort. Right. That's too comfortable. That's too comfortable. That's exactly right. Yeah. What's hidden? We've got the world in reverse. Well, that's that transition that I was picking up right in the center of these two worlds. Something that has to happen, I think. You know, we, we always want the world to be in the upright, but presently it's hidden that it's in the reverse. And the only way that... I think that world card can be turned around. It's by experiencing it's by this. experiencing this. And this, this person adversity. can't turn back to safety. Right. This is like safe harbour. Yes. Somebody who launches the ships and then realises, oh, this is a bit hard, and, and comes right back to port. Yeah, this they, person's supposed to take this journey. That's right. Yeah, it's like they come out from the port, there's a bit of a storm, right? Yes. And they say, oh, gosh, I've got to back, I've got to, go go back, back to, to port. port. Whereas th this person has to realise that there's a long journey ahead of them. Mm. Eventually they're going to reach the top of this, but uh, they, they're going to have setbacks along the way. Yeah, well, there's definitely going to be setbacks. There's no question about that. That's life. All right, sorry about that. We've got uh, the moon here is what's hidden. Yeah, it's a... Uh, well, I, I get a bit of depression, possibly. I also get sort of um, maybe some, some harsh mental issues going on here as well. Mm. Confusion. Yeah. Uh, illusion. Delusion. You know, the moon with the seven of cups is not really a good pair, is it? Not really. But, you know, there's also an element of fear associated with the moon. Mm -hmm. You know, when, we're, when we can't see the way ahead, we mm. often don't jump. That's right. We just stay where we are. We stay where we are because we don't know what's coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, 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 it's, I feel that the way ahead for this person is purposely being obscured. They're not meant to know what comes next. Right. Exactly. Well, you know, I was talking about that earlier. There's things that are knowable mm -hmm. and things that aren't knowable. I yeah. mean, they're being called on to find out all of those things that they can know. Yeah. But the reality of life is there's always things that we don't know as well. That's right. And somehow that's part of this person's journey as well. Mm -hmm. The outcome here is the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so I'm getting an energy around this. Well, actually, I'm going to pull one card on that because I don't feel it's this person. I feel that this is somebody else, but let's take a look. Well, no, I think this person over here is the person who has to go on the journey. Yeah. I think this person over here is somebody who cares about them or yeah. can see them. It's yeah. certainly external to this person. So let's see, what is this Queen of Wands in reverse? I'm going to take it as in the reversed because it came up kind of in the middle there. Could go either way, so I'll take it as, as both, actually. So this is about... What I think it's about, Michelle, is fan uh, let's take it sort of on the side, which means that it's talking about fantasy and then coming out of that. Yeah, it feels like a challenge, right? Yeah. It feels like seeing. The challenge here is seeing. It's something that's obscured. Yes. It's just like we were talking about, right? That's, so that's very literal. It's just, it's, that's all it's saying to me. Is the challenge here is for this person to go through this so that they can see what is presently obscured. That's right. Looking over here, the outcome, Knight of Swords in reverse. Well, it, they're going to appear a bit flaky. Mm. They're going to appear like they're, they're rushing off and doing the wrong thing. But, you know, maybe... Maybe it's, that's how it appears, but it's sort of meant to be anyway. It feels like twists and turns. Mm -hmm. Like this person's going to go off and, and, and kind of hit brick walls, kind of like the, the pinball machine, you know, that he's gonna, this person's going to bounce off. 
or the mouse in a maze yeah something like that it, it, it feels kind of like that someone who's on this quest but uh, the way that they're coming across here is someone who's not acting oh well there's someone who's acting skittish it's the other way right you remember how you were talking about that uh, two of wands in reverse about yeah. the about the the harbor and the, the ship coming in and then coming back and yeah. that kind of thing yeah yeah so you i mean that's there that's that, this fear it's that in and out energy yeah it's like, fear though mm, right yeah someone who's acting from that place of fear, fear. loss of control mm. and so that's that seems to be what's driving them right or, or that that's what will drive yeah. them in the short term but on the external appearance of this person is that they're going to seem erratic yeah as well yeah like they don't have full control they don't know what they're doing right so there's this kind of in and out, back and forth motion, but it's very rushed. It's very, goodness, impulsive. Hmm. And it feels like change, but I, I think that they're making radical changes. Spirit Guy is saying, this person is making radical changes, but they're not really coming from a place where, of, of a stable mind. You know, and the worst... The worst way to look at this, and I'm hoping it's not this way, it's like rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic. Mm. So, you know, I, I don't, I would, I would hate to think that's the case. It could be part of this person's journey that they, there's a lot of, there's a lot of that, but it, it, it eventually, I feel it gets to this place. We'll look right. at that in the extended, but. Uh, yeah, but only after a lot of adversity. Yeah. But you know, I mean, I'm, I don't like saying the Titanic because, you know, the Titanic sank and never came back. Mm. I get the impression here that after the adversity... There is rebirth. There is rebirth. There is rebirth. So let's see where this goes, Aquarius, in the extended reading. The link is down below in the descriptions box. It will be available on the Vimeo channel. About another 30 or so minute reading. If you prefer a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Please do like, share and subscribe. If you're a newcomer, I'd love to have you. And uh, also don't forget to check out my new channel memberships. Those are brand new and you can click on the join button or look in the descriptions box below for more information. I'm offering early access to all of the YouTube readings. If this one doesn't resonate, it's a general reading. You can uh, check out the Soul for Repair playlist for more readings that are done in this style. They're not sign or time dependent. We wish you the best with this Aquarius. Thanks again for watching and happy Halloween. Thanks Aquarius. Goodbye and good luck.